welcome back to my kitchen and today's recipe calls for appetizers or a beautiful side dish. Before I show you the ingredients, let me ask you a few questions. When you're having a dinner party, let's say on Saturday, usually on Monday you are overwhelmed and you're thinking, what am I going to make for a side dish for my fish or my poultry or my red meat? Well, this is your episode because I have the most spectacular recipe and it will rock your boat. Because you usually think on Monday, I want something quick, I want it easy, I want it low budget, I want to find the ingredients on hand in the supermarket and that's what makes you crazy. By the time it's Saturday, you don't know what to make so you make something simple. So stay tuned and what do you say? Let's start painting. Okay, let's see the ingredients so we can get started. We're gonna need some oregano. This is paprika, it's a hot paprika. You can use sweet paprika, of course, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, of course, olive oil, a few eggs. This is a type of Greek uh, cream cheese, okay? I'll tell you as we go on. Some fresh basil, some fresh parsley, a little bit of fresh oregano, a few olives. I have enough here because I'm going to be eating them as we go on. It's a snack. Feta cheese, Greek feta cheese, of course. And our veggies. Cucumber, uh, bell, green bell peppers, green horn peppers, and of course, tomatoes. Those are the ingredients, guys. That's how easy. And let's get started right away. Okay, my tomatoes here are organic. They're from my garden. And if you don't believe me, you could go into my vlogs and, you, and I can prove it. And what we're gonna do, we're just slicing the top of our tomato. We're not gonna use this. And now, in my bowl, using a spoon, I'm taking out all the juices. I'm taking it out, everything, okay? I don't want juice in my tomato. That's one. And the same goes for the rest. And you know what? This doesn't have to be only an appetizer or a side dish. It could be perfect for your breakfast. It could be great for brunch, for lunch. It's a great recipe, and even for dinner. And it's absolutely natural. And you can use um, this recipe if you're on a diet. Because you have your veggies, you have your protein in here, you have everything your body needs to function correctly when you are on a diet. Okay, these measurements, when you see this uh, recipe, after viewing it, I'm not going to give you the amounts because it's not necessary, okay? You're, you're, you see what I'm doing, right? So, I have four tomatoes here. Well, if you're going to make six, you're going you're gonna to increase the rest of the ingredients. Okay, and I'm going to place my tomatoes on this platter. side and let's continue so we have a head start with our peppers our green bell peppers watch what I'm doing I caught out I cut out the top and the bottom and of course we don't want the seeds inside okay and putting that on the side. And the same goes for the second one. The top and the bottom. Releasing our seeds and placing that on the side. Back to our veggies and clean them up. I have a small cucumber, I should say, here. We're gonna slice it in half. And again, I don't want big, ch big chunks for this. 
you still don't know what I'm going to do, and I'm doing that on purpose, so you can stay tuned and watch the entire recipe, because if I tell you what you're going to do, you're probably going to do it without watching it. And that can't happen. Just nice stripes like that. Strips. And we're just dicing it like that. We're not going to use all of it, so you can use it wherever you want in, an, in a salad. I can't show you a little piece or three little pieces, right? Okay, we're almost done with our cucumber, and I want the peel only if it's organic. Again, these are from my garden. Go into my vlogs, and you can see my beautiful garden. Okay, they're done. Put them on the side, and we're moving on to our peppers. Our green horned peppers, we want a little bit of this too. Not too much. And I'm just placing my veggies in my platter so I can use them on later on. Okay, so that's okay, done. Okay, before we start with stuffing one uh, of our tomatoes, I forgot to tell you that we're gonna need some grated cheese. You can use Parmigiano Reggiano. I have here some grated Greek uh, kefalotiri, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna start with the cream cheese, the Greek cream cheese that I told you. This is called Ktipiti. It's a little bit tart. It's made with feta cheese, olive oil, and they put it into a blender, and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful, okay? So we're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put it in our bowl, just enough so we can stuff one pepper. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not gonna give you measurements because it's not necessary. If you're gonna make 12 of these, then you're gonna need 12 tomatoes, and you're gonna need a, march, a much larger portion of uh, your cream cheese. Just a little bit of olive oil. And now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, just a little. Of course, this is according to your taste. You don't have to put it in if you don't like it. But it's gonna give it a great zing. And to this, because it goes perfectly, perfectly with basil, I'm going to add some fresh basil. If you can't find fresh basil, you can use dry basil. But use basil because it goes perfectly with the combination cheese and basil. And you can also use, just in case you can't find this in the market, you can use uh, ricotta cheese. Give it a good mix like that. And before serving, set them in your fridge for about an hour. And now I'm gonna salt just a little bit my tomato inside. I'm gonna add just a few drops of olive oil. And now I'm gonna stuff my tomato. This is a great appetizer with ouzo or raki, of course wine or beer. Like that. That's one. Place it on your platter. And so you know what you're eating. I'm just going to put a little bit of basil on top. Okay, let's move on to our other tomato. Again, we're going to salt it. Again, a few drops of olive oil. Because this is going to be your Greek salad stuffed tomato. Okay, you got it? And now I'm taking my feta cheese my knife and I'm just going to fill it making small cubes bite size so make them bigger now how simple is that 
Don't overfill because you have to put in the cucumber and our green peppers because this is a Greek salad. Okay, and a little bit of cucumber. We're gonna add a little bit of oregano. And again, a little bit of olive oil. It's about a teaspoon of olive oil. And now to this, I'm adding one olive and a little bit of fresh parsley. Because like I said, this is a stuffed Greek salad tomato. Get that stem out. And that's your second one. Okay, let's move on to our other two tomatoes because we're gonna fill these up with, okay, eggs. let's get started with our eggs. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil so we can fry them. Your stove on high, always. Okay, my oil is nice and hot. Of course, you can fry your eggs in vegetable oil also, but I prefer olive oil. Always break your eggs one at a time, just in case one is bad. I'm gonna add it, and you're gonna fry them, just like you fry eggs. Okay, a little bit of pepper. They're almost ready to come out. And a little bit of salt and we and before we place them into our tomatoes and I think I made a mistake before I told I said to you that we're um, making we're stuffing our peppers we stuffed our tomatoes it was obvious we're gonna let these cool and now to this I'm gonna add in my peppers and I'm just gonna fry them a little bit on each side okay okay we're gonna flip them over we want the pepper to have a nice bite. I don't want it to be cooked through totally. And I'm gonna add in my other egg. Hold on. And one at a time. That's one. And that's the other. Don't worry that there, some of the egg is on the bottom, it's fine. And now with your oil that you're gonna have on the sides, you're gonna help cook the egg on top, like that. See how the yolk is turning white? That means it's starting to cook. I'm gonna raise my stove on high a little bit. And once they're there, I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, at this point where my yolks are nice and white, you're gonna lower your stove on medium high. And you see this white that was uh, the extra from the egg? I'm just gonna place it, it's not gonna to go to waste, inside. Come on. All right, now watch closely what I'm gonna do here. I want my egg to be cooked right through. So we're just flipping it over. Just like that. Now how beautiful is that? We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt. And now at this point, you're gonna turn your stove off. A little bit of pepper. And they are ready to come out. One. And two. We're gonna put this on the side right there. And now let's move on with the rest of the tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna season it again. 
a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm going to add in my grated cheese at the bottom so I can get a little bit of flavor to the tomato. Okay. And now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take my egg. It's nice and warm. It's not very cold. And then we're just going to place it into our egg. Make sure you don't break your yolk because that's the beauty of it. And our second yolk. Like that. Let me clean my hands. And now on top of this, I'm going to add some grated cheese again. but I always want my yolk to show, okay? And a little bit of hot paprika, if you like it. If you like it, put it in. If you don't like it, don't put it in. There's the two. And our stuffed peppers. Oops. So there you got it, guys. Come up close, camera, so you can show what we did. So we have our two eggs here with our paprika and our grated cheese. We have our stuffed tomato here with our Greek cream cheese. We're going to add a little bit of basil so it looks even more tempting. Okay, we have our Greek stuffed salad tomato here, and we have our stuffed egg uh, bell green peppers right there, and we're just going to add a little bit of oregano. This is fresh oregano. Goes great with the bell peppers. Make sure your yolk, you can see your yolk. And now, I'm just adding some fresh olive oil on my salad, the one with the salad and the one with the cream cheese. So we can give it a nice shiny uh, look. So there it is, guys. Those are your appetizers for today. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. I'm looking forward till next time because I'm giving you a number one. And I mean number one recipe for pasta, okay, Mediterranean Greek style. I'm looking forward to it next time, and of course, always remember, cooking brings people together. Bye.